welcome back to the Red Crew. It's your boy Chesco. I am here with a full house. I am here with ET. Get the mic closer. <laughs> I am here with ET. I am here with the Hermina. Isaiah. And I am here with oh, what are we calling you? Tone two point oh. C E. So we got C T. No, we got E T and C E. All right. Uh, can you bring the mic closer to you as well, please? CTE. <laughs> right. uh, was it good? Good because we're gonna be talking about uh, UFC Fight Night, Abu Dhabi, Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia. Whitaker versus uh, Alaskar. Alaskar. There we go. Uh, for those of y'all that know. Who don't know CE will be joining us a lot often, a lot more often. He's gonna be part of the crew, helping us, you know, behind the scenes. Something that some people have never done in you know years of. Because I do it in front of the scenes. <laughs> in front of the scenes. Yeah, <laughs> I've never heard of that. <laughs> in front of the scenes, but yeah, we're gonna go through the whole main court. Uh, and uh, someone will be here. Where are you going this weekend? You going out of town? Where are you going? Galveston. That's out of town, bro. That's out of town. That's out of town. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, because it's supposed to yeah, it's supposed to rain. It might, so, it might flood. So I might just wait till next weekend to go. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Isaiah will be here. <laughs> so now he's only here for three or three. Oh, that's true. Uh, what you call it? So, uh, But either way, if, if you can't watch uh, UFC Saudi Arabia, make sure to go rewatch UFC 239, Jones versus Santos, Masvidal versus... Aspirin, that's a fight you should try to watch every two to three weeks if you can. Uh, but just try to, you know, stay up to date with the GOAT. But what's the first fight of the night? It is Johnny Walker versus Volkan Uzdemir. Light heavyweight. It's a good fight, but you remember Johnny Walker? So, Johnny Walker... Oh, so well, he has some of the best finishes. He has some of the best finishes, and he's the dumbest person ever. I agree. Uh, he, he, who did he beat? Jamal Hill? No, he got knocked out. No, no, you're talking about that eye poke? No, no, he beat somebody, then celebrated, and, like, messed up his... Oh, no, he messed up his, his shoulder, shoulder, and then he hasn't been the same since. Wait, he messed up his shoulder, like, in no, the Khalil celebration? Roundtree. Khalil Roundtree? I think. Yeah, he beat somebody, like, bad, and then he went to do the worm. And he hurt his shoulder. And he, like, no, but, like, bad, right? He, like, didn't and he, he like, tore? It. He dislocated it, something like wow. that. And he has not been the same since. And, you know, that's, I guess that's a good thing for some people. I don't know. <laughs> what you think about who's going to win that fight? And Volkan Ozdemir, the only thing I know about him, I've never seen him fight, I've never seen him win. The only thing I know is that one time uh, Daniel Cormier had to fight somebody and they chose him. Yeah. And Daniel Cormier, like, dr- right dog him. Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> for, for, like, three rounds. That's all I know about him. Uh, well, who you got winning that fight? Walker. Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker? He's got reach on him. <laughs> he's got he's got eighty two reach, eighty two inch reach compared to seventy five. So That's the goal right there. Yeah. Amanda the Lioness Nunes. Don't you think that you're being a little like was Amanda Nunes that good? Yes yeah, she was. She knocked the fuck out of her. Yeah, damn. She kicked her like a soccer ball. She mm-hmm. also knocked the shit out of Ronda Rousey. You know that mm-hmm. Johnny Walker's coach is a uh, Conor McGregor's coach. Really? Yeah. Oh, then he's fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so who you got in that fight? Uh, the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> Vulcan. I've never seen Vulcan win a fight. <laughs> I, got, uh, I got uh, Johnny Walker. You got Johnny Walker. You want to just make a guess? I go Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker. Funny thing about Johnny I'm going to have a reach. I'm going off the reach. Uh, do you know, have you seen where Johnny Walker's from yet? If you, if you haven't, from, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. Don't look. If, just off his name, where would you guess he's from? I, I don't know. Johnny Walker. I would say Texas. Texas. From he's Brazil. from Brazil. Yeah, he is from Brazil. He's from Brazil. There's no way that's his real name, is it? <laughs> no. Probably. I think there is a lot of white names though in Brazil. Like Charles? Yeah. Oliveira? I can't be. But Oliveira, bro? Charles. <laughs> but Charles. <laughs> Alex. Alex is not a... But Pereira, right? Walker is not <laughs> Brazilian Brinson. at all. They're gonna, Alex there's another Pereira. one on the prelims. His name is Brinson. He's from Brazil. That, yeah, they'll be making up those names. You mm-hmm. know what that's his name. Oh, really? Probably adopted. He's like, I don't know if you know, you follow soccer at all. 
All the soccer players have one name. Like Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, Rivaldo, Kaká. <laughs> they all have one name. I can see that. It's like imagine Madonna, Shajan playing like all the time. They're like artists. Well, that's not true. They don't have only one name. What's what's Kaká's name? I don't even know. It's not even his real name, is it? That's what I'm saying. That's what you know him as, right? Well, yeah. Neymar. Right? Neymar. <laughs> but they have last names, Jesco. <laughs> what are they? I'm sure. I don't know. Well, that's what I mean. They go by one name. What I'm saying is they go by one name. Johnny Walker, there's no way that's his real name. His mom probably can't pronounce Johnny Walker. <laughs> like, there's a true story. True story. Oh, you met my uncle when we went to the Mexico, the Colombia game with. Mm-hmm. The, the dark one. Uh, All of your uncles dark like you. That's <laughs> how you act like uh, that makes a difference. <laughs> so his his son's name is Jaden. Why? His wife chose it. My uncle can't pronounce that name, so he just calls him Jayden. Jayden. <laughs> <laughs> his name has been Jayden his whole life. Jayden or Jaden is like fifteen now. <laughs> and that's what he goes by. Still don't know how to pronounce his name. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what's the next fight? Next fight is. Mohamed uh, Naimov versus Felipe Lima. Oh, Felipe Lima is dark, huh? <laughs> he doesn't have a profile. <laughs> he <laughs> no pictures. No, that's why. <laughs> and he, he had no flash. <laughs> he, he's from Brazil, too. <laughs> yeah, but that would make sense. That Felipe Lima makes no. sense. Uh, is the other guy Russian? Yeah, something he's, like that. Uh, Apparently, like Russians versus Brazilians. It used to be one of Brazil. Tajikistan. 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 Hmm. There's no way that, that shit existed last month. Also, I've been watching the Euros. You know, Czech oh, Republic too. is not a country anymore. The yeah. fuck? Now it's Czechia. Fucking woke ass people, bro. <laughs> like, we were changing. Cause what's this country? Cancel name? culture. Cancel culture, bro. Tajikistan. Tajikistan. There's no way that thing existed last month. It did. They are just created. No, I've been there. Oh, I've been there. Yeah. <laughs> You've been there. I've been there. Yeah. Taji- what the fuck were you doing there? <laughs> I served in the military. Oh no shit. Like. It's been there for years, I promise Were you. Were we at war with Tajikistan? No, but we... They didn't want the smoke, huh? <laughs> No. <laughs> They're too small. <laughs> they didn't want the smoke. Like, I watched Ukraine today. Like, that war has affected their soccer team. Yeah. They were never good. Huh? Yeah, they weren't really they good. They, they were never good. good. They <laughs> lost to Romania. They should be able to beat Romania. Well, well there's, there's like... This Romania played yesterday, though. Versus Ukraine. They did? Yeah. But the small teams are not getting better. No. They're getting better or they're not? They are getting better. Well, that's what Ukraine's small. Like, even like. But that's what I mean. They're a little distracted. I get it. Like, even the World Cup, like, like, uh, Morocco, right? But Morocco's not small. But Morocco has always sucked ass. Yeah, but you can get better. That's what I'm saying. Except for Ukraine, apparently. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's all where they get their players from. All that to be said, I think Felipe Lima is going to. No, I think this, uh, Muhammad. Yeah, but it is a good fight. Eleven and two versus twelve and one. Is that his first fight in the UFC? Who? With Felipe Lima. Let's see. Yeah. You don't have a profile picture. Yeah. 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 He's, yeah. yeah. yeah, he's new. Man. Brazilians used to be scared, but I'm gonna go with the Brazilian. Who you got? Uh, the Habibi guy. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Who you got, see? I don't even know. I don't know much. I always go for the darker guy. That's what I do. This guy, I'll go with the no profile. I always go for the, the no Russian profile looking guy. Person. Watch him be like super white. <laughs> <laughs> like pale. Yeah. Milk white. Like pale white. Whiter than his shirt. <laughs> All right. Uh, next fight. Next one's a good one. Kelvin Gaslam versus Daniel Rodriguez. Kelvin Gaslam. I think it's a must win for both. But Kelvin Gaslam reminds me of us. Like, we, we're out of shape. Well, we used to be out of shape, somewhat in shape, guys. <laughs> you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense or not. So I've always felt like a affinity towards uh, Kelvin Gastelum because he's like, you're in shape, brother. I appreciate it. Could you be in better shape? Obviously. Right. He could probably make 145. But he's, he's like, short. Huh? He fights at 185. No, 170, you know? <laughs> Now, this one's at 170. Yeah. Oh, so he, he, he went down. Yeah. So Rodriguez has lost the, the la- his last one. And fight. he's kind of the same because he's a little out of shape, too. Yeah, they're both a little thick in the midsection. Yeah, they're both Not thick. Very cut. When, when they shouldn't be. Uh, but uh, I think I think Gaston has this. I think Kelvin has some wins, too. Yeah, I think Kelvin. It's, it's in the thing. Hey, can Kelvin... Let's talk about Kelvin Gaston for a little bit. 
Do you think Kelvin Gastelum made a mistake going five rounds without a sign? Fuck no. Uh, made a mistake? Meaning because I think those type of fights do hurt your career. Meaning like, you can't go through too many of those. But that boosted his career. He After that, he won like two fights. And this fight went years it's just, ago. It's just styles, bro. Like, he got beat up by Whitaker. He got, he lost a terrible fight to, 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 he, he lost to Cannoneer. He lost to, uh. Because he does really bad against wrestlers, bro. Darren Till. Whitaker didn't wrestle him. Touch Whitaker him. picked him apart? I don't remember yeah, that fight. Yeah, he picked him apart. Darren Till and him barely touched each other. But the thing is, it, it's, it's all matchups, bro. It's all matchups. Like, Adesanya, he never fought a fight like that ever again. You know, after, after that, if you, I can say it, then it kind of went down too. But that Whitaker fight went full decision. Yeah, full yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, he, yeah, because he's a tough dude. He he lost to Hermanson, right? Yeah. Yeah, like yeah, the dude just not hasn't had a great career. And I, it, you saw the fight that he put up against Adesanya. You're like, this dude's a monster. It's him and Adesanya. And ever since then, it's like, yeah, no, I get it. Then he after that fight, he he, 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 he lost went by down. submission to Brady. Yeah, he's lost to a lot of people. Like he's lost to a lot of people. And that's why I feel like if he would have, let's say, his 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 corner throws in the towel in the fourth round, maybe <laughs> he can. No, no, no. I, it won't be a stoppage. Absolutely not, bro. If you look at his at, at, at his at his losses, because I, I actually really like Kevin Gastelum. He just he, he gets out wrestled. He gets uh, pinned down, and, and and that's how he loses. Sure. But when it's like a fist fight, like when it's it, it's like a you know center and a center and an octagon and. And they go at it, you know. He, uh, he, he has the upper hand. Has he fought? Uh, can you check if he's fought? What's his name? Oh, he's at one seventy now. So, he's at so you said both of them needed it. Who do you guys think needs it more? I think D Rod needs it more, but I think Gastelum's gonna win. I think D Rod might get cut if he don't win. Kelvin Gastelum came out and said he thinks. Either when we get cut. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, I think more D Rod. I don't think Gaston will get if cut. If Gaston gets cut, he's going to burn up. He'll be a baddest burn up. Nah, he'll, be a, he'll get paid a lot at PFL. Ain't going to no PFL. Like, How many UFC fighters go to PFL? A lot, right? Like Anthony Pettis is over there? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't think PFL is competing with USC. Yeah, they're not competing. You know what I mean? The, you go I think, to, yeah, maybe you want to get paid. You want to go to bare knuckle. No, but PFL is paying for real, bro. Stop it, just go. <laughs> no, they, they have like million dollar tournaments and stuff. Yeah, you got to win it. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even win. The Leo, bro, they get paid. No, yeah, the fuck they don't. Not, <laughs> if you, no. you go to BKC, if, you fucking lose and you get paid. If if he can beat D-Rod, he's not winning a PFL tournament. <laughs> right. Thank, <laughs> thank you for You think the PFL sense. fighters are better than D-Rod? Have you watched, what's his name? I did watch it. Johnny watch. Eblen? No, I haven't watched From it. Bellator, but that's, I don't know what it is now. Johnny Eblen's good. He could fight in Because now it's PFL Tour. They came together, right, or whatever? Yeah, but they still have like their own events. Like Bellator yeah. still has their own events. It's like, I guess you know. But I see UFC fighters that go to PFL normally struggle. Because uh, Yoro Romero went over there. Yeah. Right? They lost. Yeah. Tiago Santos. Tiago Santos. How did he do? I, he fought, right? I know he fought Yoel and he lost. Oh, to Yoel? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, the, guy, the guy that died went there? Chris Benoit? <laughs> Rumble, no, not Chris Benoit. <laughs> <laughs> Rumble Johnson, right? Yeah, I think he was in Bellator. Yeah, right. They go there because they get paid. They're not going there for free. Well, oh. no shit, Chesco. But you know what I mean. They're not, they're not they going over there because they're going to collect... A bag, but I don't think B- BKFC is paying you millions of money. They are maybe Mike Perry, that's about it. No, or, or like, else Mike Perry wouldn't be fighting Jake Paul. No, but Jake Paul's a different monster when it comes to money. Is he? Anybody will fight Jake Paul, it's like anybody will fight McGregor. Yeah, okay. right? Let's that's a patron. No, it's a pay- no, no, no. You can't, no, you can't say, Oh, we're gonna put those two in different tiers. It's the same thing right now. You fight Jake Paul, you get a bag. That's yes, you get a bag. Absolutely. It's just like fighting Mayweather. But you fight Mayweather, you get a bag. You fight, you fight McGregor, you get a bag. Yeah, they're different bags, but you get a bag, right? You go to PFL, you're not guaranteed a bag. You go to, you go fight Bare Knuckle, you get a bag. I don't, I don't think the bear, the the bag for B, uh, for PFL and BKFC is that much different. It is, bro. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of, if not most, like I'm saying, if we're talking Anthony Pettis, if we put up a name of li- a list of names, we go with Anthony Pettis, we go with uh, Yoel Romero. Uh, What's what's the woman? Uh, what's her name? The the one that got knocked out by Amanda Nunes? Holly Holm? No, no, no. The, the the Brazilian one. Cyborg. 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 Those those people are getting paid. Like now, 
I, I'm pretty sure if you add up the numbers, it, I think PFL on average pays more than BKFC. Now, does BKFC... Absolutely, absolutely on average, yes, because they have way more fighters. It's a bigger thing. But what I'm saying is, like, for oh, example... Oh, you that Gastelum will become, like, another Mike Perry. If, if Gastelum goes and fights at BKC, yes, he's going to go get a bag. <laughs> I don't no, know. cause he's gonna put on a show, bro. Cause we saw Rocco try that, and it worked. Should have stayed to modeling, bro. I agree. <laughs> and he, he went and got paid. That's why he went to go. He bro, when you go to Bear, when these guys can easily go to PFL and maybe compete, right? Get a lesser bag. But the reason why you're getting paid at Bear Knuckle is because not only your name, bro. You're putting your fucking body in the line. Yeah, yeah, you do, obviously. No, but it's more than putting in PFL. It's more than putting in the UFC. These guys do not come out the fucking same, bro. They're all fucking savages. You know, in BKC, they're fucking animals, bro. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. How do you feel about it? About what? Because to me, it's like there's a limited skill set. Like, the, the, the best, for example, if you go skill set wise. Nobody's arguing skill set, though, Chesco. I'm not arguing skill set. No, and that's what I mean. That's why I don't think it's as dangerous. I, obviously, is it is it grimy? Is it what? tough? Is it, is it, is it, is it, I'm not, I'm not trying to take away from it. But I don't want to act like like PFL is this walk in the park, because I don't think it's that either. Like you do put your body on the line. You are going against savages and guys that are trying to make it to the UFC, and some of them are good enough to make it to the UFC, and they're just not there yet. And then if you go to BFC, I don't I don't think if you go to BKFC, you're finding UFC level talent at all. I agree, but nobody nobody's you're arguing about something completely different. Nobody's what do you say about putting that? your body on the line and that? Bro, your, your your hands are not wrapped. You're not protected. Yeah, I get it. it sucks for your hands, but I'm saying it, it sucks in your to, face. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Now you know what also sucks going up against a killer, and that it's not gonna be that level of killer at BKFC. It's just not. I agree. And I that's completely what I agree. Mean. Right. Right. <laughs> But I'm talking about the toll your body takes on doing bare knuckle boxing compared to doing MMA. Yeah, it's completely yes, different. Yeah, it's a completely point. different. Completely. Now what? That's what I'm telling you. That's why you get rewarded more on bare knuckle yes. if you're a bigger name compared to how much you would get paid in PFL or compared how much you would get paid in UFC. Outside of Mike Perry, I don't now, know who's getting paid at B- PFL. The few people, Eddie the few. Pe- you think he's getting paid? Eddie, of course he got paid. Out of fuck, twice. Of course he <laughs> made, no, he made more money in that fight. Then, then most of the fights in the UFC combined. Oh yeah, the UFC don't pay nobody. That <laughs> UFC. Uh, Mendes, Chad Mendes made a lot of money. Made a lot, right, one fight. That's what I'm trying to say. You go there, you collect the I bag. Think, That's I what think I'm saying. From a business game. standpoint, be I'm not saying they are a threat. Be KFC is the biggest threat to the UFC. I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that because they're doing a different sport. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I agree with that. I never sit here and argue that. Oh, if you leave the UFC, you go be KFC. It's gonna be the. The, the, the biggest challenge that these fighters have ever gone. You're going to see more uh, talents. I never said that. I just said, I'm stating facts. You go, you fight there once, you're going to get it back. Yeah. Which just like sense. if you go, you go fight once, and then, or you want to go to PFL and do this tournament against all these hungry dudes <laughs> just to potentially make a bag. A bit, yeah. Or just do one one fight. It's one That's my point. But, it's, 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 but you saw how Luke Rockhold ended, right? You saw how Eddie Alvarez ended. Like, you saw how these... Guys ended, right? Uh-huh. They don't end up the same as PFL. They don't end up the same as UFC. They get fucked up. That's why they get rewarded. <laughs> right? That's all I'm saying. Uh, all right. What's the next fight? All right. Next one. Komain. Sergey Pavlovich versus Alexander Volkov. You know those two guys confuse me? Really? They're both Russian. Honestly, I had never seen them at the same place at the same time. So if they both show up, then it guarantees that they're not the same person. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Pavlovich is number two in the heavyweight ranks. Pavlovich is that that tall? That's the guy that got knocked out by uh, the the English dude. What's his name? Uh, Aspinall. Aspinall. Volkov looks like Drago from. (laughs) (laughs) If he dies, he dies. (laughs) But one of them is like this giant polar bear looking guy, right? That's uh, Pavlovich. Yeah. Is he? He's he's fighting or no? Yeah. Yeah. He's fighting. I think scary, bro. Volkov. Volkov is the one that beat uh, Bam Bam, right? Yeah. Be Bam Bam. Um, They're both scary. I, I got Pavlovich. I, got I think I got Pavlovich. Yeah, yeah bro, but they're out. fucking like you look like. No, but they're from the nice side of Russia. They be they're like you the, look at them. They're fucking scary, bro. <laughs> they're more like the civil like civilized bears. side. Of Russia, right? No yeah. beard. Just bears yeah. on the side of the yeah, right. <laughs> that beard is scary. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you have that beard, I'm going with you. That means <laughs> you live in the mountains. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Like. Pavlovich. You heard? You heard Dana White said like. About Hamshot being sick, they're like, 
Yo, man, he told us he's sick. It's not like we could go find him. This dude, <laughs> <laughs> this dude, this dude lives on God knows where. He's off the so, grid. Yeah, so it's like I thought he was from like Switzerland or something. No, he lives in Sweden though, right? Yeah, he lives in Sweden. Yeah, but yeah, you're not gonna go to Sweden. He's from Chechnya, no. Russia. Yeah, he's from he's Chechnya. Chechnya. There you oh. go. So, but he rapped Sweden? Swedish? I guess he moved there when he was like a teenager. But I think now he trains more in Abu Dhabi. Because from based off what I follow on Instagram. Mm. Hey, it's not dumb. But. Oh, we got to talk about Pavlovich. Did we oh, yeah. pick the last fight? Uh, <laughs> I got Pavlovich. I, I got just think Pavlovich. he hits harder. Yeah, I think. I think they got similar skills. That's why I, I get confused by. Like, neither one wrestles, right? I guess right. Um, Volkov's wrestled against Bam Bam, but. Because everybody wrestles against Bam Bam. They're both strikers. They're both strikers. I don't even know who they are, bro. I, I have to look at them. Their names confuse me. Who, who are they? Pavlovich and, and Volkov. Uh, Volkov, okay. See, you have a terrible memory. Stop smoking weed. Uh, you and I were watching. Remember we were there when uh, Derek Lewis knocked him out and he was like, my balls are hot? <laughs> oh, Alexander Volkov. Yeah, that dude's a monster. He's really tall. But both really, of them are fucking tall. Really tall. Pers- yeah. Oh, that's good. Both of them are good, bro. Wrong. I'll go with Sergi though. He's just scary, bro. That dude scares me. Yeah, Sergi Pavlovich. I got Sergey yeah. Pavlovich too. Yeah, I got Pavlovich. He's just scary, dude. The thing is, that the heavyweight division is in so much trouble. It is really? It's, I think it's in so much trouble. First of all, in the next championship fight, those two guys are retiring. Aspinall is kidding himself if he thinks that, that John Jones is ever going to fight. That's <laughs> not going to happen. Yeah, I mean, Chandler no. thinks Connor's going to fight. <laughs> That's so fucked up. Why are they messing with that guy, bro? Yo, Chandler and Aspen are going to have to fight each other. Because <laughs> the guys that they're chasing... No, what's never... fucked up is like Chandler's just holding off. He ain't going to fight until he fights McGregor. I and really that, don't know. That's not going to happen. And that's, I don't think it's going to happen. I think it'll happen. No. McGregor's yeah, well, McGregor's done. like fucking 48. That's fine. Like, If I'm Chandler, man, like you just got to come and oh, go for the money. But what I'm saying is, like the heavyweight, your top two guys are going to fight each other. It doesn't matter who wins or retiring. Yeah, they're old. And yeah, so and they better hope Alex Pereira go, win, um, goes to fucking uh, heavyweight. Or I agree. And but I don't think he'll do Bow. good in heavyweight. I don't think Alex Pereira go. will do good in heavyweight. <laughs> like, I can't believe he's gonna go fight at one eighty five. Who? Alex Pereira. He's fighting at one eighty five. Is he fighting at one eighty five? He's fighting at two hundred five. He's fighting at two hundred five. He's fighting GD, no? Yeah. GD repro Hashio again. I think that fight goes the same way. Max him out. I still no. think Sergey wins. Uh, but yeah, and then okay, what Aspinall's gonna fight Gone eventually, right? After after he See? got it, Gone, whatever. Yeah, like, cause, and I think Gone can actually win that. Maybe. And, but that's gonna be the fight. That's the only one that matters. But Sergey Pavlovich and Volkov don't matter. I'm sorry, with all due respect. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a badass fight. Yeah, uh, actually, I, I agree. There's gonna be a good fight. But what I do you think that'll matter? I think for like the long run, it doesn't matter. Like Pavlovich just got smoked by 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 Aspinall. Aspinall, even though he's the interim champion, he's probably the fourth best heavyweight. Maybe like maybe third, but it's it, nobody thinks he's top. And we're never gonna be able to find out because those guys aren't gonna fight him. Well, that's the problem, right? I think. We, like when we talk about rankings, you you don't you shouldn't count Meal Kitchen and uh, John Jones. It, we we should we wouldn't if they wouldn't be involved in it. But the problem is they're gonna fight for the championship. So and after they fight for the championship, neither one. For example, a good example I bring up to you was Oliveira. Remember that we all used to say that when when Dustin Poirier fights Oliveira, Dustin Poirier is gonna beat Oliveira. We used to say. I never said that. Okay, but a lot of people used to say it. it seems like Dustin Poirier is just waiting to be a champion, waiting to be a champion. And since he was making his money with McGregor. We all felt like Chandler and Oliveira was just kind of a placeholder for whoever won those fights to come and take it. But that guy eventually did fight Oliveira, so he got to prove that he is the number one guy. Aspinall... Who? He lost against Oliveira. Oliveira got to prove that he's the number one oh. guy. So Aspinall is in the same situation that these two guys are fighting and everybody feels like he's the placeholder. But those two guys are not going to come and fight him. Well, how old is Steve Bay? Like 47. Right. <laughs> and how old is John Jones? Like 40. That's my thing. Like, I don't I know, John bro. Jones is like 36. No, he's like 36. 
And Stipe is not 47. Bro, Stipe is like 40, old. though. He's 40, yeah. He's, yeah, like. He's in his 40s. So. But when you're old, wait, heavyweights can go until they're older. Yeah, John Jones is 30. So. No, that's not true. I have a feeling John Jones is going to win and he's not going to retire. Yes, he is. Who the fuck's he going to fight? Stipe is 41. You think he'll fight Aspen? I think he fights Pereira before he fights Bro, Stipe is 41. John yeah, Jones is 36. Yeah. yeah. I think if he doesn't retire, he fights Pereira before he fights Aspen. But yeah, but that does. That's a, that's smarter for your legacy and a better fight. What, for, Pereira? Yeah. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. I think Aspen was fucked. Like, those guys are just not going to fight him. Like, it's. Stipe is not fighting does nobody. It, does it even matter that he's fighting Stipe? Well, it's it's the greatest heavyweight of all time against the greatest of all time. So oh, Stipe is forty one. I get it, bro, but it's just like you just okay. Mm-hmm. McGregor has not won a real fight in about five years, and everybody's hyped every time. No, I'm back. sorry, not everybody. No, nope, only the bandwagon fans. Yeah. Like real UFC fans, are you excited about McGregor Channel? I wanted to watch it. Well, look, I want to watch. Look, man, I just watched the okay. last fight oh, night. Were you excited about McGregor and Chandler? <laughs> I was excited. You yes. were? I didn't give two shits about it. I, I knew it was never going to happen. Night. I watched Cannoneer versus I'm a mom or whatever. Yeah. So, yes, I, I'm excited about any kind of fight. But nah. it's like, I wanted to watch it. Yeah, it's like, it, it, those guys, name 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 recognition match. And and it's it's those video game fights. Even though even if they're a little bit too late, you want to watch them. Pacquiao Mayweather was a little too late without a doubt. Yeah. We wanted to watch it. Like, it's just, yeah, sometimes they're a little too late, but you want to watch them. Bro, like, for example... <laughs> it's rare that you get John Jones and Daniel Cormier at their prime. And even that one, you can say that wasn't really both at their prime. Daniel, Daniel Cormier is, what, eight years older than John Jones? Like, he was 40 almost when they fought the second time. So it's rare that you get both of them at their prime. It happens every now and then. We got the Justin Gaethje match. I get it, bro. Beautiful. But Stipe, bro. Stipe is forty-one. He's gonna fight him when he's like forty-five, bro. What if it's been they're fighting next in three months, right? Four months. I think they fight in November. <laughs> November. <laughs> we'll see if they even fight in November. But they fight in November. They're fighting in November, bro. Chill. Like, even even there's a lot of fights. Like for example, you think that 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 Khabib McGregor was both at their prime? Khabib McGregor. Mm. McGregor was on his. He lost his prime. Maybe like. 20 years ago, bro. <laughs> I agree with you. Is that McGregor was just all name. It's all name. McGregor, McGregor was like in his prime, maybe when he fought Alvarez. 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 And that's it. When he fought Nick, he was not in his prime. Nate. Nate, sorry. He fought him before Alvarez, right? He fought Nate before Alvarez? Yeah. yeah. The first time? Then there you go. He, I think he was maybe on his. No, on, Alvarez was the best I've ever seen. That was crazy. That was the best we've ever seen. Okay, I guess if you say that, but and the thing after hours when he went and fought Mayweather and all that shit. Yeah, so th- that's when his prime was gone. I agree. It's like these fights you want to see them, and it's rare that you see them both. Think about prime. it, bro. Stipe is gonna be forty-two when he fights. That's how age works. Yes, he was forty-one. Forty-two, 42 bro. <laughs> yeah, 42. No, well, no, well, no shit, bro. But you could say that he's uh, that uh, he had already turned forty-one, right? He turned forty-one. On, oh, he's gonna be forty-two. He's gonna be forty-two. That's what I'm saying. Who gives a fuck? If John Jones beats Stipe, so what? It's not like Stipe is like, oh, uh, he's in his prime. He, bro, Stipe is 42 years old. There's no fucking way in hell he beats a 36-year-old. You're 42. You're like a grandpa, okay, bro. Okay, but what does that have to do with Pavlovich? <laughs> oh, who gives a fuck about him, right? You said that nobody cares. Yeah, I agree, nobody cares. It's like, yeah, that's all I'm saying. We're talking more about Stipe and Jones. They matter more. And these guys, even though... For example, look, if you're old, I agree with you. You're old. Like, Stipe's old. It'll be great if he's old and goes and loses to the next guy. Whoever it is, right? So you sh- you're saying that Pass the torch. he's going to win? Of course not. There's no way in hell a 42-year-old goes and beats uh, uh, a 36-year-old. And yet, no way. I, I agree with him. But what I'm saying is your name does matter. So if, you, if you're if you a 42-year-old and you want to still fight, if you fight the next up-and-coming, it helps the UFC. It helps, it helps, it helps the up-and-comer. It helps all that. Yeah. He's not going to do any of that. He's gonna go fight one guy and one guy only because he could have fought Pavlovich, right? When 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 Jones got hurt, yeah. and he did it. He's not gonna fight nobody but Jones. And then Jones, is like it, uh, Isaiah is right, he might not retire, but he's not gonna fight Aspinall. He ain't gonna fight nobody. I don't think he'll fight anybody. And if he does, he's not gonna do it anytime soon. He's gonna do it when he's like forty, like Steve. So it, these two guys are not gonna help Aspinall push up. And then Aspinall Curtis Blades. Does anybody care about that fight? 
No. Like nobody cares about that fight. So my point is that these two guys don't matter. They're like the seventh and eighth heavyweights. And even though it's a hell of a fight, I'm happy it's happening. I want to watch it. But I'm sorry, they just don't really matter in the scheme of things because I think Surreal's gone. Surreal gone's better than all of them. Did he already beat one of them, Pavlovich? So. Or Volkov. He would be Volkov. He'd be Volkov. Yeah, he'd be one of them. So, dude has no ground game though. No ground game. None. But he's been out for two years, so he better start. He better do because, for example, Dustin Poirier did good. I did a lot better than I expected him to do against Islam. Like you yeah, could tell, he did nothing but wrestle. Beat him two years or last time two years ago. Who? Uh, Volkov lost to Aspinall. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, these, I'm sorry. As, as good as the fight's going to be, they just don't matter. All right, main event? Yeah. Robert Whitaker versus Ikram Oskarov. I want to get your perspective on this, as this. So, do you think if Islam had beat Hamza... Islam had beat Hamza. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If, if Whitaker had beat Hamza, did he get the next title shot? No. No? Absolutely not. Who gets the next title shot? Strickland. Strickland. So... I think Whitaker is definitely not getting it now. I think if he beat Hamzat, it was up in the air where maybe, depending yeah, on no, the Yeah, no, he's not getting it now. He's definitely not getting it now. It's I gonna, think he's going to probably fight. Um, he's going to make me a that beat Kenanir? Hey, my mom or whatever. The French dude? I think he's going to yeah. fight him. I, he think, I think he'll fight Strickland. I don't think Strickland's going to wait it up. That could happen, too. I think he'll fight Strickland because Strickland... Well, if Adesanya wins... The when when are, when is Adesanya and Duplessis? Oh yeah, they get announced. It's in uh, August, I August. believe. Adesanya, if Adesanya wins, he's in play to do it in December. Like, but honestly, oh, talk, let's talk about it on pod. Hit Carlos up. Let's see if we get, do, do UFC December. You know? Well, where? Vegas. I don't know when. December. <laughs> what day? Oh, I don't know. It's not out yet, bro. Yeah, probably not. Of more important things on the summer. Damn, man. I never thought we'd get to the day when we actually had more important things. Actually, I don't know why I said we, because I don't. But <laughs> Some of us grow up, bro. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, uh, but anyway, uh, where were we? Oh, Whitaker. Where did, what did this fight mean, now? Nothing. Pff, nothing. Just save the card. No, I think if this guy wins, it, it becomes a problem. If, if this guy wins, he's still in all of Hamza type, huh? I think. If this guy wins, he still is all of... Um, yeah, if this guy wins, shine, he becomes shine. a problem. Is he the, eye with, the guy with the eye? No, no, no. But I think that guy's fighting on this card, too. But no, he's not. There's a guy that looks like a Viking. He's in, he's like the, the main event of the prelims. Yeah, yeah, him. Sheriff Putin. Yes. He has, like a, he has a... um. That guy looks scary. But this guy, if he wins, but he hasn't fought like in a year. He fought on Abu Dhabi. Yeah, last year, right? Who are we talking about? Ikram. 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 So. I really hope Robert wins, though. I think Ikram wins. You think Ikram wins? You think he's going to, what, uh, wrestle? You had Hamza? I had Hamza. Really? I just don't, I think Whitaker's reached the ceiling. I, I agree with that. Now, uh, my question is, is Hamza's ceiling as high as? Whitaker's. That was the, that was the only I think question. at this time, yeah. Now the question is: Is this guy can can this guy go five rounds in a week and a half notice? So he yeah, has to finish. That, he has to finish Whitaker. And is he that good of a wrestler? I don't know. I think he has good striking too, though. Man, I don't think he's gonna be better than Whitaker's. I mean, he has. He's knocked out his two opponents. And Whitaker can't knock nobody out. It's crazy. But Whitaker's fought good fighters. Right? Like, Duplessis had to walk through him because he was getting pieced up. Think about it. He's been through wars, too. Joel or Merle twice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gast- oh, no. Yeah. He's been through a lot of wars. Gastelum. Gas- yeah, Gastelum, I guess. Cannoneer. Darren Till. Vittori. Vittori. Out of Sanya twice. Well, actually once and a half. <laughs> Costa. Costa. He was about to get finished by Costa. Costa. He's beat them all. Yeah, he's beating a lot of people. Whitaker's, <laughs> Whitaker's record, Whitaker's record is 
great. He lost the drink as well. He yeah. beat, he beat, what's his name? The, the one that does like this? Oh, Jacare? Jacare. He lost to Wonder Boy. He did? Oh, at 170, right? At 170. Yeah, I think Ikram gets it. I, I'm gonna go with Whitaker. Like, so what? Uh, how many rounds? It's five rounds. That 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 benefits Whitaker. Yep, it that, does. That benefits Whitaker because Whitaker can wrestle. He can do everything. He can do everything. And now I agree with uh, Isis. He's just the 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 Whitaker that fought Romero. There ain't no beating that motherfucker. Like, yeah, but that's, uh, yeah, that yeah, that that Whitaker don't exist. Now. But this guy, I don't know. Hey, do you think he's coming back too quick? This Who is the fastest he's come back, huh? Uh, what do you mean he's coming back too quick? Uh, when was his fight with Costa? In February. February. He takes a while to come back. Normally, this is fast for him. And he normally doesn't come back this. Fast. I don't think it's too quick. I think it's just. It's fast for him. Yeah, it's not too quick. I think he just reached the ceiling. Now, is there a pathway for him? Because, let's say he wins this, right? He deserves to take some time off. If Duplessis beats Adesanya, or or Adesanya beats beats, let's say Adesanya beats Duplessis, right? There's no rematch for either one of them. It seems like that goes to Strickland, right? Yeah, it should. It should go to Strickland. Hell yeah! I don't know how. Well, I don't know why Adesanya is fighting uh, Duplessis before Strickland is. He's oh, fucked again, up. Again, name value. Uh, Strickland seems like he could beat either one of them. Mm-hmm. Can Whitaker beat Strickland? I think. Whitaker and Strickland have like the the style to beat each other. Yes, perfectly. That's what I mean. To me, they mirror each other, and Whitaker may be better at it a little bit. He's more active. Just uh-huh. he's just more active than 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 Strickland. But it seems like Strickland's style bothers Adesanya. It seems like it bothers Duplessis. Yeah, but I think Whitaker has that bouncy style, karate, where he's like he blitzes you, and Strickland's actually open to a lot of hooks. Like per, he got called per. I yeah. think. Whitaker could take advantage of that. Which is crazy that, that Adesanya's style doesn't bother, uh, it didn't bother uh, Duplessis, didn't bother Adesanya, but but Strickland's style did, which is kind of walk him down. Yeah, because Adesanya, bro, Adesanya's Adesanya, gone boring. Like, Adesanya, he static. Was, he he kind of just relies on what you give him, so you're exactly. not giving him anything. Yeah. He doesn't do anything. He only counters. He does yeah. not want to exactly. go first. Exactly. He does not want to go first. He feigns, but if you're not... If you're not, if you're not reacting, he won't go first. But uh, I hope Whitaker wins. I'm a huge Robert Whitaker fan. He's like so technical. He's so skillful. He is skillful, but I think he loses. I also think. I also think. I'm sorry. I get it. It's a tough weight cut, but I I feel like 185 would just. He's just smaller than everybody. Who are you talking about, Whitaker? He's just smaller than everybody. But you saw him in Costa. It didn't look fair. It didn't look fair. Is it? And, and I get it. He won the fight. Duplessis. Was getting pieced up, but he couldn't hurt him. The boy's just too damn big. Like when you're fighting guys that damn big, how do you plan on beating? So, and he, I'm not telling him to go to 170 now. It's just, it just seems like a lot. But anyways, that's been the preview for UFC three what? Three uh, Saudi Arabia. Oh, UFC Saudi Arabia. Whitaker fight night. Oh, that's a fight night, huh? Yeah, yeah it's a fight night. That's crazy. It's Good fight night, huh? Yeah. Starts at 2 p.m. main Starts card. Starts at 2 p.m. main card. Oh, that sucks. You work? I always work Saturdays. Told you to go to school. <laughs> I make more money <laughs> than people that go to school. Told you to go to college, bro. Go to college. Waste of time. They say, you know, my mom yeah, used to yeah, tell I me that. My mom used to tell me, I go to school so you don't have to work. Bullshit, I went to school. Damn work. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're still working. Still working. I work more than everybody. Um, all right, man. Thank you for watching. Oh, we got a lot of subscribers, man. We got and we got people mad at me. Uh, Go over the tank fight or no? Oh yeah, good. Yeah, let's do that. Did y'all watch the tank fight? Fuck yeah, that was. I mean, it was a good fight, but it was expected, yeah. right? Question he, is, is Tank Machenko, beatable? He has to fight. Yes, yes. Now, at what division? I think at one thirty-five. He is there. no. Yes, that's that's why I asked. That's why I asked. At one thirty-five, I don't think he is. You think he's at one forty? Absolutely, he's he, absolutely. I think. Well, <laughs> who beats him at one forty? I think at one forty-five. There, there, there's there. where I was gonna go. One forty-five. Who beats him at one forty? Maybe, maybe Tiafimo. Oh, I don't think. Uh, where's Lomachenko at? One forty-five. One thirty-five. I don't, I don't think, think Tank. It's just 
you need power to stop him. He walks you down, and eventually he gets you. Like, yeah, because this guy, because Martin hit him a lot, hit him a lot, but couldn't couldn't face him. And he just keeps walking. I get that, bro. I get that, bro. It's 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 different, bro. We're having a a, a dude that has only fought 18 18 times, right? Yeah, he only started boxing when he was like 20. Right? So, Frank Martin? Yeah, yeah, pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. I'm not taking anything away from him. But you're going to go fight Gervonta, right? You only got 18 fights. You fought nobody. You fought nobody. You did not yeah, get prepared true. to come fight Gervonta. But you say Lomachenko. Loma, I think Lomachenko, absolutely. If I if, if Gervonta and Lomachenko fight, I'm taking Lomachenko, bro. I so think Teofimo makes more sense just because he's of, younger? Because of the power. And but he's younger. not at 135. But not at 135. Tank's going to fight at 140. Like, That's the thing. Tank's scared of going at 140. Well, it's smart. I wouldn't either. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> if there's nobody close to me in my division. Like. What, it, it, like I, I just don't think that. So what do you say? Stay, stay, stick to your division. Well, I say go be Lomachenko. I. But the thing is that I think he has a path. He can be, uh, uh, sh- like that would be a good fight. Uh, Shakur. Shakur uh, they, uh, yeah, I think Shakur puts people to sleep with this, just like his fights. Like. No, to okay, wa- I get. Watch it. But it would, it would just bring more legitimacy to to his. Yes, name. that's what I'm saying. I would do that. I would like at one. For example, if you, at one thirty five, if you give me Lomachenko or Stevens, I'm gonna go fight. I'm gonna go fight Shakur. No, I would really? fight both. I would fight all. No. Because honestly, you can't... He, they can't beat him. Why risk it? Why I don't think it's it? a risk. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm at a point where I don't think it's a risk. Devin Haney can't beat him. I don't care what division nah, they I fight. I don't care what weight they fight in. Devin Haney can't beat him. Like, you really think so? I don't think so. Devin Haney has no power. No, I agree, though. I don't know why I'm even <laughs> pushing that. I, I, I'm not a huge Devin Haney fight uh, fan. Shit, I think... Uh, if they fight like... Ryan a, Garcia can't beat him. I don't care what... At, what at 145, at what division? I think at 145. At 145, I wouldn't fight that fight. Yeah. Because, yeah, Ryan Garcia is different there. But at 140. But even at 140, though, right? Because they fought at 135, no? Yeah. Yeah, even at 140. At 140, I, now you start thinking, mm, Ryan might, you know? I don't think Ryan can make 140. Uh, 140. Uh, 140? Uh, he can't make 140. It has to be Bro, he made 135. Yeah, yeah, but now he's bigger. Yeah, now you have you seen him? Yeah, he's bigger. He is way bigger. Like, no, nah, he can't make one forty. And at one forty five, I wouldn't take that fight. That's not that that did hit, that dude hits too hard. Uh, but I'll fight. I'll f- I'll fight Devin Haney at one eighty. Like, I wanna, uh, I, 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 <laughs> like if he's gonna stick to his division, run it up with Pitbull with, with, with a full training camp. Oh, that'll, that'll right, be because different. stop stop allowing people to say, oh, you know, he he took it on short notice. He took it on short notice, and you still couldn't finish him. You still couldn't True. finish him. Yeah. Right? Now, I watched the fight. I, I mean, of course, at Mexican. I'm not saying Pitbull won. It was a close fight. Yeah. But I'm not saying Pitbull won. Right? But it was a close fight. It was a close fight. Right? But Pitbull took it in short notice. Let that motherfucker get his full training camp. I actually would rather see that fight than right? Lomachenko. I think Shakira. that would make sense. Right? If Javante, if Bro, I'm a huge Javante fan. I don't think nobody beats Javante at 130. Nobody, bro. Not even close. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I think Pitbull could be the one that gives him the most problems. Mm-hmm. But I think he will knock him out. I agree with that. I think, Pitbull I think, probably gives him the most problems. I don't think Teofimo can. I, I, I just... Teofimo, since the Lomachenko win, hasn't looked the same. That's not you? Yeah, I hope not. <laughs> I'm over here. Uh, you parked over I, here? I didn't know. You parked over here? You, yeah. Look, you can look. Yeah, you can look there. To the left. I was like, fuck, my car's gone. <laughs> it ain't me. Uh, uh, what you call it? So, Teofimo, maybe, is just because of the power. But I, I don't think he has the skill. I don't think. The guy, is, it's impressive. He just walks you down. Who? Gervonta. Gervonta. He just walks you down. And then he hits like a truck. Mm-hmm. It's For like, that size, is incredible. He, he hits like a truck that I, I haven't seen somebody, like, Maybe, maybe I, I got, I got shocked when Roley lost to Pitbull. I didn't expect that uh, to happen. What? You were shocked? Well, not Roley's like that. Roley's a clown, bro. Roley's not good. Roley's good. No, he's no, not. I don't think Roley's good. Roley's not Roley's good. good, man. No, like, he's not. He's, now, of course, he's, he has power. Uh, he has he's power. not good. Against nobody's. Yeah. Look at it. Like, you have to put, like, I, I always say this. Whenever you look at fights, when, right? Everything matters, right? Context matters. Roley's trash. Like, I'll say this. Pitbull is the quintessential Mexican fighter. 
He is the definition of a Mexican fighter. He is what people want. Oh my god. He is what people want uh, Canelo to be. And like, that's what I don't. <laughs> what you call it? Uh, but Pitbull, I don't think. Yeah, Pitbull may be the best fight. But what all I'm saying is, if the best fight we can fight for Javante is a guy who he already beat. We'll repeat the if the best fight we can fight for Javante is a fight that he can already that he already, that he already beat a guy he already beat yeah. but forever but he, like if he needs to beat him again with a full training camp I keep saying that he has to yeah I guess it's it not makes fair. sense it's just it's, not fair it makes sense I, I just I what I in the rematch I always think the better fighter wins it, especially you know it, it, as much as I'm a Mexican around a bunch of solid people I feel like in a rematch Javante knocks, knocks him out knocks him out yes I really I feel like in a rematch he knocks yeah. him out uh and who else? The question is who? Shakur. I'm sorry, Shakur can't do it. What about that? What's the Asian dude? The like the the really small one, the Japanese dude. He's the champion. He has he has a title. Yeah. Him. How many you talking about? Uh, no, talking about. What, what about him? What division is he in? One thirty five, right? No, I think he's one thirty five. I think feel like he's like one twenty six. Yeah, he ain't going all the way down there, bro. No, no, he would have to come up. I don't know. I just saw like a post about that the other day. Because he's at the, he's in, like in the pound for pounds, right? Yeah. yeah, he's a he's a beast. He's in the he's pound for pounds. You gonna have to pull a Pacquiao. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that's what Pacquiao made Pacquiao Pacquiao, bro. I'm gonna fuck. I'm sorry. Pacquiao. Nobody can tell me Pacquiao wasn't cheating. There's, that's not humanly possible, bro. <laughs> yeah, he, bro, you know they, they they do they drug test the fuck out of boxers, bro. Yeah, but that's when again the dude lived in the Philippines. How often did you check him? Like he obviously wasn't cheating during the time he was getting checked. <laughs> but I'm just saying, it just doesn't seem humanly possible. Well, it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can hate all you want, bro. The, 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 the brother was clean, bro. It's like just what they say about the UFC and the Russians over here. It's like, yeah, they're in the UFC pool, but how many times are you going to the freaking mountains of Dagestan to check people? Not that often. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, they. Those guys, it's easier for them to get away with it. It's just, it just is. Well, it depends how active they are. Exactly. Well, they fight two times a year. Well, At back most. in the day, Pacquiao was, was fighting, bro. But Pacquiao was a was a was a uh, active boxer. Oh yeah, Pacquiao and yeah. But what I'm saying is, like, is there ways to get around it? Absolutely. That's all I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, of course, uh, of course, of course. but uh, that I'm sorry. It's I don't see anybody else doing that. That you, how, where did he start? At 107. He started low, bro. <laughs> like, low. But when did he start? When did he start boxing? He started young. Yeah. You, I mean, the I dude just, went up to 150 something. Yeah, and it was all in his couch. It's crazy. It was all in his couch. <laughs> it's all his weight was in his couch. Bro. Like, I get it. Go up a few divisions, but damn. The dude went up 50 pounds. Bro. He wiped fucking divisions, bro. Nah, yes. I, that motherfucker was definitely one no, of the No, and then what he did to guys like Kodo. Kodo. People don't, didn't do that to Kodo. No. The only one that did it had, like, rocks in his gloves. And then. And then he, they found out, and then he <laughs> fucked them up. He fucked them up. Like, yeah, people didn't do what he did to Cotto. Yeah. Like you don't do that to Cotto. No, Pacquiao is definitely one of the goats, bro. Yes, one hundred percent. Margarito, you watch Margarito fight? Margarito, what you can hit him ninety times in a row, and he'll keep walking forward. Mm-hmm. The only guy he stopped walking forward was Pacquiao. <laughs> Pacquiao, Pacquiao made him stop walking forward, bro. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, see you next time. Peace.